Hello Zaniacs, I'm Lainey. I'm Marshall. And today we have a, a tag video for you, which we haven't done in a while. Mm -hmm. uh, this tag has been going all over the internet in the booktube community, so I decided after watching a couple of them, I guess I had to do it myself. And I made Marshall do it too. <laughs> That's how we do. Uh, this is the mid-year book freakout tag. I have my list right here, so does he. And uh, this was actually kind of difficult for me. And in going through this tag, I realized that there were like some of these questions that I had a really hard time answering. If you want to answer them too, I will leave the questions below and make sure you tag your video in the comments so that we can go and watch and see what your stuff is also, or if you've already done this. Yeah, link it in. Yeah, link it in. All right, so the first question is, best book you've read so far in 2020? My favorite, my best book that I've read so far in uh, 2020 is In Five Years by Rebecca Searle. There were a lot of people that did not like how this book went. They thought they were misled by what the book turned out to be, um, but that didn't faze me so much. I thought it was just this beautiful story. A lot of people went into it thinking it's a romance. It's a, it's more about friendship and relationships than it is about romance. And so I just loved how beautiful it was and how deep it was and it really connected to me uh, for a personal reason that I can't tell you because it kind of gives away what happens in the book. It gives away the plot. So I can't tell you why it resonated with me personally, but it really did. And so I feel like it was the best book I read this year. What about you? Uh, for me, it was Sadie, uh, which was one of the first few that I read in the year. Mm -hmm. But it just, it was so, it felt real. Yeah. It felt so strong. And it really, it focused on things that we don't try, we try not to talk about in our culture even though we should. Yeah, that was a definite second for me, I think. Sadie mm -hmm. was so good. Such an excellently written book. So number two, best sequel you've read so far in 2020 would have to be Down Among the Sticks and Bones by Shauna McGuire. Hey, I got oh, the you same too. one. <laughs> um, yes, I thought that was such a good book, even though it was kind of short uh, mm -hmm. as far as books that we've read go. But I think as a sequel, it was it was fantastic. It it's was really good. needed. Yeah, it was really great. Yeah. Number three, new release you haven't read yet but want to. Um, I put Home Before Dark by Riley Sager. You do not, so did he. <laughs> you do not understand how long I wanted to read this book. I actually pre-ordered the audiobook so we could listen to it and then it came out in Book of the Month and I hadn't subscribed to Book of the Month yet and everyone was reading it pre-release and I was like having FOMO so bad. Still am, haven't read it yet, uh, but I will. It's down for this month, we're gonna do it. But yes, for sure. Most anticipated release for the second half of the year. Oh, I know, some of the new Dresden books. Yeah, you like the Dresden Files books. Yes, I am uh -huh. so waiting on- There's two. Yes, there's two of out. them. Um, Peace Talks was one of them, and I'm kind of looking forward to that. Mm -hmm. Just the way that things left off in the last few of the Dresden Files, I'm just like, where is it going now? <laughs> so awesome. Yeah. Um, mine is Love Your Life by Sophie Kinsella, who is one of my most favorite authors ever. I've loved the entire Shopaholic series, and I try to read everything that she's read, except I'm behind by like two books. But she's coming out with a new book, um, October 27th, which is my birth month, so I was like, this is perfect. I want to read this book. So that's probably my most anticipated one. Okay. Biggest Disappointment. Yeah, mine was The Dilemma by B.A. Paris. I really was hoping that it was going to be a thriller, and it was not a thriller, and I it really just dis disappointed me. I was looking forward to it a lot. Mm. For me, it was Red Diamond and Mon's Journal Book 1. Because oh, yeah. it was one that, you know, on, a, on the surface level, if you look at what the general plot is, you'd be like, yeah, this seems okay. I did not like the main character at all. Yeah, and that's I, too bad. Yeah, I just couldn't. Uh, number six is Biggest Surprise, and I put Big Summer by Jennifer Weiner. Uh, For me, it was just a surprise because, number one, it wasn't marketed as what it actually was, but in a good way, and I didn't really care about it. And then it was also a surprise because I had forgotten how much I love Jennifer Weiner when she writes about plus-size girls. So, yeah, it was amazing, that book. For me, it was City of Bones. Um, oh, yeah. Because when I, 
I was not having very high hopes for it after seeing the movie and wishing I hadn't. Um, but then I read the book and I'm like, why did the movie ever get made? So, uh, then we have favorite new author, or debut or new to you. Uh, new to me this year, Riley Sager. Uh, oh, man. There we go. Okay. Yeah, man. Riley Sager. <laughs> I think it's enough said. <laughs> we binged through his books, like, this year. So good. So good. Uh, newest fictional crush. Yeah, I had a hard time with this one. Really hard time. So I didn't necessarily count it as a fictional romantic crush, which I think is what the question was leading yeah. towards. But I did it as a fictional girl crush because this girl is so amazingly strong and I fell in love with what she did. And it's a book that Marshall hasn't read yet. So it's Darby from No Exit. Um, if you haven't read New, No Exit yet, it's about a girl who goes to a rest stop and she finds a little girl locked in a cage in the back of a van and she has to figure out whose car it is and everything else. Like, who is it that kidnapped this little girl? And uh, there is a review coming for that one too, though. But yes, she's just such a strong, amazing girl, but yet flawed at the same time. There's things that she just doesn't figure out in time that she needs to figure out and sometimes she's on the ball and sometimes she's not so yeah I just I, I really kind of like was crushing on her when I was reading uh for me <laughs> it was I had a hard time thinking about this one um because it turns out most of the female characters that I've read about have been young um so I went with Vasa from the court books she's one of the mortal queens and oh. she's the red-headed one she's gotcha. she's kind of fiery haha <laughs> But yeah, I liked her best out of the novels. The newest favorite fictional character, I picked Sloane from Chosen Ones. And I'm so glad that there's going to be more of a series because I thought that her character was just so like complex and dark in such a good way. Ella Malakova from the Illuminate Files. Oh, Ella. Mm -hmm. Poor cow cow. I love Poor her. Cow -cows. Uh, book that made you cry was definitely In Five Years by Rebecca Searle. That's all I can say about that. Um, the closest I got was A Court of Frost and Starlight. The relationships between the two main characters just, it struck a chord with me. It's the closest I got to crying. A book that made me happy was The Mall by Megan McCafferty. I loved this book and it made me giddy with all of the uh, 90s references and just the way it was written. It's a scavenger hunt, which I'm all for. Oh, yes. Uh, for me, I've, I've been having difficulty finding books that made me happy. I've enjoyed a lot of books, but most of, the ju most of these books make me feel intrigued, or they make me feel concerned, or something like that. None of them made me feel happy, and that might be something to look forward to um, in the last second half of the year. Most beautiful book you've bought so far this year for me was the Little Woman edition of Puffin in Bloom. I'm gonna put it right here because it's gorgeous. Uh, for me, um, I actually said the Red Diamond had the prettiest of the covers that I've seen um, yet for this year. Even I, I didn't really like the book yet, and I, but that was, that's a pretty good cover. Last question is, what books do you need to read by the end of the year? For me, is truly devious. I have all three and I've never read them. Um, American Royals, because the second one is coming out this year. And anything by Colleen Hoover, which I am actually reading Heartbones um, in July as part of the book club. So at least I'll read one Colleen Hoover book because I never have and I need to. No Exit, all the new Dresden Files, and everything from a Wayward Children's series. I just adored that series. <laughs> you have more to go. <laughs> I do. I think I'll we have three more. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching our mid-year freakout tag. Again, look for all the information down below. And until next time, stay zany. Bye-bye.